scattered everywhere. We have major, major damage at grain bins, in the middle of the road, tractors. It's absolutely intense. Hello internet, it's Clarence, and we're out chasing again. I bet you'll never guess what month it is. It is December, December 15th, and we are chasing in Iowa. Never in my whole life I thought I'd be out doing this. Uh, it's quite the historic weather setup today. Uh, there's a very strong low pressure that should reach the northwest corner of Iowa here probably around six o'clock. Uh, the pressure is expected to be about 981 millibars, uh, which um, is, is quite strong. A lot of the systems I chased this summer, for example, um, were over a thousand millibars. So, um, good. good, good old friendly Iowan checking on me. Pulled over here on a gravel road uh, between Denison and Ida Grove, Iowa. Uh, just waiting for these storms that have developed in Nebraska to cross over the Missouri. Um, what makes today especially unique, um, there's a couple reasons. One, um, record high temperatures. It's never been this hot in Iowa in the month of December ever. Um, when I left Des Moines, it was uh, 72, 73 degrees. On the drive here, it's mostly been about 70, 72. Uh, dew points are in the low 60s. And we have wind. Um, we're under a high wind warning the entire state. Uh, the expected gust just from the wind, not associated with any storm, uh, could be upwards of 70, 75 miles per hour, um, sustained winds in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range. So highly unusual. Uh, it's been, I believe, uh, five years since last time there was a high wind warning in Iowa. Um, and usually not quite even this high. Now with all that said, these storms that are approaching us, they are moving just the storm motion is between 80 and 90 miles per hour. A typical storm I like to chase is 35 miles per hour. So there is no chasing today. It's just setting, waiting, and letting it come through and hope maybe you picked a good spot. Um, the risk with that is if there is a tornado, one, that tornado's moving at you very quickly, uh, but even a weak tornado then becomes a very strong tornado because of something um, I believe referred to as downward motion, where just the, 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 the velocity of the storm is affecting the velocity of the tornado, uh, amplifying its own rotation and making wind speeds um, around a certain part of that tornado especially strong. So what would otherwise be a weak tornado can become, you know, a, you know an EF2 tornado. Uh, without a lot of effort. So this morning the Storm Prediction Center um, put out a moderate risk area which for any time of the year is, is pretty rare uh, but has never happened in Iowa or anywhere in the Midwest this time of year uh, in the winter. Uh, it's typically a, a Gulf Coast um, Ohio River Valley type uh, setup for that uh, in the winter. So definitely historic. That's why I'm out chasing. I don't expect to see anything. Uh, but just the fact that this is happening in Iowa in December uh, is really something. Um, you know, we'll keep you posted. Hopefully have some good video. Um, nothing else 
uh, we'll see the, the storm roll through. So, sorry for the wind. It's very windy. Luckily here, the only debris I have to worry about is cow poop and cow pee. I'm pretty sure the wind would carry it this far. We are just to the north of Denison on Highway 59. We're pulled over uh, just on the side facing to the southwest. And this line of storms has finally arrived. We're getting a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, uh, but the main gush should be coming forward. We are under a tornado warning, so we'll have to keep a very close eye out. Uh, the sun has just set a few minutes ago, so visibility is a little difficult at the moment. Lots of cloud to cloud and some cloud to ground lightning. system moving this fast, I would expect that. Especially with all the wind and friction and everything that's been going on. Purposeful spot here with some long range views, no trees and no power lines. And the uh, grass out ahead of us here maybe will give some indication of how strong these winds really start to blow. storms are moving uh, roughly around 80, 85 miles per hour, uh, if not faster in some circumstances. Should start to feel that wind here very soon. 